If you've not heard about Atlas yet amidst the constant flow of AI news lately, don't worry, there's a lot to take in right now. You've probably heard about Agent Force by now, Salesforce's new autonomous agent platform. Atlas, in very simple terms, is the brain powering it. It generates a plan based on what the role is trying to do, then evaluates and refines its plan. If you're a little confused or just want to find out more, stick around, as we'll go into the ins and outs of what Atlas is, how it works, and what the hell an Atlas reasoning engine is. So, as we just mentioned, Atlas is the brain behind Agent Force. It's the reasoning and learning engine, otherwise known as the chain of thought. It's a sophisticated engine that goes in a flywheel of retrieving structured and unstructured data, so CRM data and data brought in via a zero copy partner, and then taking action. Atlas keeps looping until it's confident it can achieve the goal that's been set by your organization in line with the user's ask, whether that user is someone internal in your workforce or a customer slash prospect. Then it performs reinforcement learning based on human feedback. In other words, with every interaction, Atlas will get smarter for your own organization. From a security standpoint, Atlas respects the sharing model as defined by the application layer, e.g. which of these sales reps have access to which customer records. As explained by one of the leaders close to this processing engine, Atlas is Salesforce's upgraded co-pilot engine. The diagram on screen here is helpful in understanding the core components of the process, the ultimate aim being to generate precise and factual results. When it comes to Atlas, we can break it down into three capabilities. First, there's the Atlas Reasoning Engine. As mentioned previously, Atlas generates a plan based on what the role is trying to do, then evaluates and refines its plan. When taking an action, it will look at what business processes, like flows, should be used. The ability to self-reflect is key, enabling it to be deliberate in its decision-making. Other reasoning engines are more static in nature, and therefore less reactionary to changing customer questions, for example, in the context of a conversation. Then there's advanced retrieval mechanics. Also referred to as grounding mechanisms, this works in conjunction with the reasoning layer. This can be compared to finding the needle in the haystack amongst masses of enterprise data to then deliver better on the prompts that were given. The overarching aim is to reduce the risk of hallucination. Over even, avoid it completely. Finally, there's guardrails. Another capability that works in conjunction with the reasoning layer are guardrails, or what agents can't do. Being able to set guardrails, as in having policies in place, means that agents are clear on when they are veering out of bounds. The agent would, for example, hand off a task to a human agent, or ask clarifying questions before going and designing a more dynamic plan. Atlas is well poised to revolutionize how businesses handle complex processes by offering advanced reasoning, retrieval, and decision-making capabilities. Its potential to transform customer and employee interactions is huge, and we're likely to hear more about the exciting updates on its development at Dreamforce. What are your thoughts on Atlas's potential? Leave your thoughts in the comments below.